in Uganda's capital Kampala, a 3D printer is manufacturing a component for the Airco unit. It's a low-cost air quality monitor, developed by researchers at Makerere University. The World Health Organization estimates 7 million people die every year globally from illnesses related to air pollution exposure. Lead researcher engineer Bainagomisha says that statistic was the inspiration to act. And for us that was, you know, really um, an eye-opener for us to come in with technology solutions and how we could contribute to improving air quality. According to the 2021 World Air Quality Report, Kampala was ranked among the world's most polluted cities, with levels exceeding WHO safe standards by five to seven times. Dust from unpaved roads, wood fuel and vehicle and industrial emissions are all major sources of pollutants, Uganda's environmental protection body says. To measure the pollution, AIRCO deploys a network of sensors across a range of locations, from schools to onboard motorcycle taxis. Obviously, there's a variation of the pollution levels from place to place. And that's why it is important to create low-cost air quality monitors, because uh, if you look at a, a city like Kampala, you can't have one monitor and use that to make a statement on the state of air pollution across the country, across the city. The devices, developed with part funding from Google, gather pollution data which is processed and uploaded on a cloud-based server. Artificial intelligence analyzes the data, boosting the accuracy of readings, making forecasts and troubleshooting errors. Kampala previously relied on air quality monitors mostly imported from the United States. They cost 30,000 US dollars a piece. City officials say they required expensive maintenance and frequently broke down because they were not designed specifically for the local environment. Echo's monitors have been built to withstand conditions including extreme heat and dust and are powered by both the grid and solar, allowing them to operate when power supplies are interrupted. What's more, at $150, they're quite a bit cheaper.